Hey y'all, it's Michael and it's Vlogmas Day 28. Today, after I went to go get my hair cut, I was thinking to myself, should I or should I not? Because there's a second in Charles and a Goodwill next to the place where I get my hair cut. And I was thinking, should I buy some books? It'll make me feel better. So I said, yes. I bought books, second in Charles, and I don't usually buy I don't usually buy anything from there because the books tend to be, in my opinion, a little bit overpriced because I can find a lot of the books there at Goodwill for way, way cheaper. I spent seven dollars at Goodwill and then I've spent about fifteen dollars at Second and Charles, so I was really excited that I got them for a really good decent price. So yeah, let's just go through them. Main books that I purchase were for May. I'm going to try to read a lot of Asian authors or translated works from Asia. I want to read a book from Hawaii also. That would be really nice. was mainly focused on that but I think two of these books are not, uh, they're not dealing with that at all. They're I will pronounce all of these authors wrong, most likely. 100% probably. I'm so sorry. The first book is Soul Mountain by Gao Jingjian. This is a really interesting book. First off, it won, it says on here, it won the Nobel Peace Prize. I literally just started on it and it is really descriptive. It's beautifully written though. I, I feel like I'm really going to enjoy it. Uh, it's about, it's about this author and yeah, he was diagnosed with lung cancer and so he thought he was going to die because they said he was going to die within a few, uh, within a time, within a time span and then come to find out later that he he wasn't. He didn't have lung cancer at all. The the doctor made a mistake. Now, I don't know if this falls under fiction or non-fiction because it takes place about his experience and him trying to find himself after he finds out that he's not going to die anymore. But supposedly also, it's, it's really strange because I'm on chapter 6. I just started on it. And it's written in second verse. So it has you um, instead of I, which is really interesting. Really weird. So yes, I'm excited about that. The next book that I got is Miles From Nowhere by Nami Moon. This is about Jun who is a uh, Korean. He migrates to the Bronx in the 1980s. So yeah, there's that. And I got The Garlic Ballads by Mo Yan. Yeah. <laughs> all of these names, Mo Yan. And this is about, this again, won the novel. Look at all these award-winning novels. From what I got from the back, it's about a village. The, the government decides to make this community plant garlic. And then we get, I'm assuming we have to see like what happens when like, the government takes over their, um, their little town. The next one is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Uh, I've heard incredible things about this book. I don't know nothing about it. It's because when people talk about it, they're kind of vague. So. I'm really excited to, to read this. The downside is this is the movie cover and I've never, I don't even know they had a movie about it. So there's that. The next one is Cutting for Stone by Abraham Verges? Virgins? This book is about um, twin brothers and their orphans. Now, funny thing about this, I, I was looking at this from Goodwill and I was like, oh, I wonder if this is any good. So I, w I picked it up and then when I came home, I was looking on Goodreads um, and a lot of my Goodread friends highly rated this. So I have really high expectations for this. And it has high ratings on Goodreads, which I try not to pay attention to the ratings anymore, but it looks really, really, I mean, the Okay, now the next one I got from Goodwill because when I saw this at Second and Charles, in my head I was thinking, okay, I've seen that book at Goodwill plenty of times. And come to find out, I found it at Goodwill for 50 cents. And that is The Namesake by Jumba Lahiri. The thing about this is, I think I already have this book in my bookshelf. After I purchased it, I was like, wait. I think I already have it, and I think I do. I'll have to look in the abyss of my bookshelf, but I really think I have this book already. Final two, I just saw it, and I was like, sure, why not? They were like a dollar. First one is How Starbucks Saved My Life. It was apparently like a CEO, like he was he is really rich, and then something happened, and then uh, this is his experience about getting a job at Starbucks, which I am super excited to read about because I love Starbucks. I don't read that much 
food books, even though I love food. Um, so I'm going to try to venture more into the food section of books. Not, not like recipe books, but more books about food. I found this and it perfectly describes how, how I'm, I love to eat. It's alone in the kitchen with an eggplant. Confessions of cooking for one and dining alone. Uh, this is edited by Jenny Ferrari Adler and it's done by a whole bunch of authors. Let me see. Some notables on here. I see. Oh, ooh, Haruki Murakami is on here. And Pratchett. Uh, let's see who else I know on here. That's it. I'm assuming this is just a collection of essays about eating alone, which I do often because even with a, the only time I think I eat with my family members is like they're just there. But I do tend to go to restaurants by myself and eat by myself. I have no problem with that. None at all. Yeah, those are all the books that I got from Second and Charles and Goodwill. Tomorrow, I'll give you guys my book wrap up for the books that I read in beta. On the 31st, I will be doing a follow me around vlog because we're going to this wedding reception and that's going to be a lot of fun. So that um, vlog for the 31st will be incredibly late because that's on a Saturday and then on Sunday, I have a wedding to shoot. So. I don't know when I'll be able to post the one from the 31st, but I am on time and on schedule, which is really great. You guys, VEDA is so close. Like, it is so close to being done, and I'm super excited. Yesterday when I posted my vlog, I was thinking, I don't know if I should post it because it was a little bit more of a downer than anything, and I was like, mm. But it's just, it's really how I felt that day, and so, you're really seeing how I feel every single day. See you guys tomorrow, and I'm going to go play with Mayel now. She's here. Hopefully she's asleep. <laughs> but yes, until then, I'll see you guys till later. Bye! Yay!